Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you effects on the master track in Reaper. Now before we get started, I want to mention something. There's a myth that says we shouldn't put anything on our master track. In terms of compression or EQ, we should save that for the mastering engineer. I couldn't disagree with that more. If we're mixing our track, there's no better time to adjust things at the global level than during mixing. A lot of times we'll EQ or compress the whole mix on the master track and notice issues with individual instruments that we didn't hear before. And we can adjust or fix those things during the mix. These are things the mastering engineer has no ability to fix. So we should absolutely add whatever effects we want to the master track. So I have a project in front of me here that I want to mix. Let's hear it now. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh. So I usually add plugins to the master track pretty early in the mix, and then tweak them along the way as I adjust the individual tracks as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll view the master track. Go up here to the view menu and choose master track. And then we can see it right here. And here's where all the individual tracks or buses flow to. It's the last point to adjust things in our mix. Let's go to the effects and let's add an EQ. Let's choose re EQ. Let's make this bigger right here. Let's make some adjustments on the entire mix. I usually like to start with the top end and just see if we need some. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, then check the low end. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home, but if I'm not mistaken, and then the mid range. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home, but if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up. Yeah, now I'm truly awakened. Oh. So just added a shoving EQ. That starts at about 2 kilohertz. And I'm just boosting 1 dB of mid range all the way up to the high end, just to bring out the vocal and the whole mix a bit more in our face. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken. But it's pretty subtle. Now, the next thing I want to add is a compressor to kind of glue or hold the mix together and make it more dynamic. And one of my favorites is the 1175 compressor. Right over here, we'll start off with a four to one ratio, to make the attack a bit slower, the release a bit quicker, and let's hear that. I was yours for the taking, guess I needed a home, but if I'm not mistaken. Right down here, we can see how much compression or gain reduction we're doing. To make the release a bit quicker and the attack a bit faster to really grab those transients. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up. Yeah. Now I'm truly awakened. Oh. Again, it's pretty subtle but it really glues the track together and everything's pumping up and down at the same time. I was yours for the taking, guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. And once again, it makes the track sound a bit more in our face or up front in the speakers. Now the next thing I want to add is a multiband compressor, which will compress each band of our frequencies separately, and then mixed back together. 
So let's add the Reaper effect, Re-X or Re-X comp right here. And it starts off with four separate bands that are going to be compressed separately. And I like to start off by listening to each band to find the crossover point I want to use. So if we start with the low end, we could solo the current band, and we're just hearing this frequency. So we could decide what frequency range we want to compress separately from the others. I usually like to keep it pretty low, so we're compressing the sub bass on its own. I have it set to about 160 hertz all the way down. So let's move on to the second frequency and adjust the low mids separately. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Somewhere around 750 hertz. Then we'll move on to the third band, which goes up to the mids. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know. So we stopped at 5 kilohertz. And the next band is from 5 kilohertz all the way up. So it's just compressing the top end separately. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh. Now the next thing. I want to set the ratio for each compressor to 4 to 1. It's a nice starting point for each band. Then I'm going to turn on program dependent release for each band. Now I want to compress each band the same amount. And we can do that by linking the parameters. So let's choose the second band, touch the threshold. So it's the last touched parameter, then go up here to the menu and choose parameter modulation. Then we could choose to link the parameter and we'll choose it from this compressor to the first threshold. So now these two parameters are linked. So if we choose the first one and adjust the threshold, they move together. Let's do the same thing with the other thresholds. Go to the third one, touch the threshold, go to the menu and choose parameter modulation, turn it on right here and switch this to the rear comp and the first threshold. And do the same with the fourth one. Touch the threshold, parameter modulation, link it, to the first threshold. And now, if we go to the first frequency and adjust the threshold, they all move together, compressing each frequency exactly the same amount, but still separately. So it's a smoother type compression. Let's hear it. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh. What's here before? I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. Notice how it controls each frequency separately, but keeps it all sounding even. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, I know I was drunk enough. Sounding good. And then finally, if we look. Over here on the meter. I was yours for the taking. Notice it goes over and starts clipping. So to control that, let's add a mastering limiter at the end. Go to the Reaper effects and choose Rear Limit. Now because it's going over, we should see some limiting automatically. 
without bringing down this fader. And let's hear it. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. Notice it just limits just the top of our peaks, not really doing a whole lot, but still controlling it so it doesn't go over or clip. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know. We could try adding more if we want our mix to be louder. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough. I think it sounds a bit too hot. Let's check this with the loudness meter. Right over here, as the final plugin to meter what we're doing. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken. And we could see by the Wuffs meter, this mix is probably too loud. And it sounds squashed to me. So let's lighten up on the limiter and put it back at zero, where it's just limiting the overs. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know we would mess me up. That looks better to me, and it still sounds pretty good. Very punchy and in your face, but not too squashed. Let's hear it all before. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, and I know I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up. Yeah. Now I'm truly awakened. Oh, so you wanna talk again? But it's time I do this my way. I don't wanna be your friend. Think we hit our expiration date. I want you to feel the weight, feel the hate. Like I said, that sounds a lot better to me. The track sounds more punchy, and it's doing things we can't do on the individual tracks, like compressing and multiband compressing the final level of our mix. I usually start this at the beginning and tweak it along while I'm mixing the song. So that's pretty much it. That's effects on the master track in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Chicken lady loves life! Gee, I never took that literally. I never... No! <laughs>